Hello everybody, welcome to another quick tip from Redstick. Today I'm gonna show you how to model uh, very quickly a terrain from uh, level curves in 3ds Max. So let's start. First of all I'm gonna import a file that a friend of mine has sent. Um, let me see where I save the file, I think this is it. Yes, import it, click OK, yes gonna select uh, I think meters in this case never mind hit OK 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 so this is the model that I have the from uh, AutoCAD and first of all I wanna make a quick check just to see what scale does this spline have in 3ds Max right now so I see that its length it's about uh, 353 meters which I think it's too much let's scale it down uh, 10 per to 10 percent maybe or no 50 percent I don't know it doesn't matter that much for this test this test but when you will be working with your own model you have to make sure that it has the right scale first of all because I don't know what units did he use to work on this one so First of all, I have uh, my splines that I have imported and now uh, I want to do a little bit of cleanup uh, before I uh, go further with the splines. So let's just see what do we have here. Alright, for these splines I guess we can delete this, uh, this part and this part. So let's do that because that will... Uh, stand in our way in the next steps all right and uh, for the sake of this test I can delete this line right here but uh, you would like to keep that if you would do an exact model so delete that and delete that and let's just move this until it's at zero zero again great now next thing that you would like to do is go into the spline uh, mode in um, in this mode hitting or hit 3 on the keyboard or just clicking here and select all the splines control A deselect the outermost spline which is this one in my case and just start pulling up the other splines and um, you should uh, do this according to each spline's level so you should have to check that with your drawing but I will do this very fast here just to show you so pull this up deselect the outermost pull this up and so on and the way you would like to do it is uh, a little bit different if you would have the exact dimensions so you would select this outermost spline and just type in the in here the distance is offset from zero zero so or its level actually so 200 maybe but uh, I don't know your exact dimension you should type that in there and then you should continue with the next one and so on but I'm not gonna do that because I wanna make this very quick so just pull it up and continue pulling those up all right I think I'm gonna do one more yeah and I'm gonna delete the rest actually I'm gonna keep these and delete these here and I'm gonna model these as well a little bit all right great this looks all right the next thing you want to do is go into the top view after you've done this work go into the create compound objects and hit uh, and select terrain 
and as you can see what this does is it supply it applies a mesh but a very dirty mesh to our um, uh, splines and uh, this is it would be very hard to use so uh, we want to change this first of all convert it to an editable poly go into the creation panel and create a plane which will be bigger than our whole than our whole side because this is our side as you can see here so a little bit bigger than our side all right and uh, pull the plane up and now we would like to apply a modifier that will conform this plane to this geometry but first of all one thing that you want to make sure before applying that um, modifier is uh, the edges of the bottom bottom uh, geometry must be uh, wider in some sense than the the top geometry let me just show you what i mean by that go select the bottom geometry go into the border mode select the border go into the scale tool and uh, while uh, holding shift scale these uh, edges outwards and I have to move these vertices that have been created right now so now as you can see the bottom part is bigger than the top part so it will get we will get a nice conform and now with this top plane selected go into the uh, creation panel compound objects and uh, just uh, select conform and before um, conforming just be sure to check this box here hide wrap to object and after that pick wrap to object and just select the bottom geometry but before you do that make sure you are in the top view otherwise you will uh, get some weird errors pick that it will uh, last a second or more and here it is we have our uh, conformed geometry another uh, quick tip that I would like to share you is uh, to share with you is um, the following as you can see our um, uh, topology is heavier in these areas but in these areas is pretty pretty much a simple plane so what I like to do here is before conforming convert this to an editable poly the top geometry go into the polygon mode and select roughly this area which will be heavier on geometry and just apply a mesh smooth twice all right and now I will, i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to go in the top view as i did before conform conform make sure hide wrapped object is checked and pick wrapped object and pick the bottom one so basically now I have more detail in the areas where I need it like here and in the areas where I don't need it I don't have that much detail and um, yeah this is great you can go afterwards no let me just uh, go one step forward because I went two steps back accidentally so this is a great uh, great way of modeling terrain and if you need it to be more smooth just convert it to an editable poly apply a mesh smooth or if you need to add more details you can do that you can uh, adjust the topology and uh, you have a clean mesh to work with or the usual uh, method you can go into the paint and uh, start painting i don't know and uh, just the usual modeling techniques so a great way to model quick topology from level curves and uh, i hope you like it see you next time arrivederci